Restaurants to dental offices over the past week, we've been digging into the impact of coronavirus on our local businesses. Focus investigative reporter Paula Vassan interviewed a spokeswoman at the state's largest business association about the future extent of that impact that's coming. We've been taking your calls, pouring through your emails, and reading your comments on social media. From restaurant workers to barbers and massage therapists, business owners and their employees tell us coronavirus is threatening their livelihoods and they need support. We've been hearing from hundreds of businesses and employees over the last few days. We spoke with Jacqueline Pitts with the Kentucky Chamber of Commerce through FaceTime to abide by social distancing rules. She says she's getting swamped with the same two questions. How to get unemployment benefits for people who are losing their jobs due to this coronavirus pandemic and how to get a small business loan for the businesses who are being displaced. Those who lost their jobs due to coronavirus can file for benefits online at the Kentucky Career Center. They're not providing in-person services to follow social distancing protocol. As for small businesses who need a loan, Pitt says she hopes loans will be available within the coming weeks following Governor Bashir's application to the federal government. Gyms, hair salons, these type of places, I think are definitely the, the hardest hit. Earlier this week, we spoke with the owner of a restaurant who said he's had to lay off a majority of his staff. We talked with a dentist who's been forced to turn away most of her patients. And it's honestly stunning. On Tuesday alone, the Kentucky Chamber said 9,000 people in the state filed for unemployment insurance. That's compared to the weekly average of 2,000 seen in the state prior to the pandemic. The Kentucky Chamber of Commerce says while these decisions are difficult for businesses and their employees, the governor is taking the right steps to prevent the spread of coronavirus. We will be continuing to investigate the impact of coronavirus on local businesses and their employees. For tips, please send us an email at focus at whas11.com. For Focus, I'm Paula Bassan.